one time. Get your popcorn, get your mom mom out the yard. This one gonna be a 3D. Are you ready? <laughs> we'll have a bathroom break. We'll be right back. Speaking of gay lies and myths, my Drag Race audition tape is next. I got too. No, I peed on someone on that show. They buried me alive though. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan Murphy. Uh, I think I hate myself. Wow. Huh? So I'm pretty proud of that lace cast suit that I'm wearing in the Rihanna video, SNM, that I was featured. Oh. I'm sorry, I just dropped that. At least I admit to dropping the names. I mean, someone last week on the internet accused me of dropping names so hard that I threw my back out, and then I couldn't take it for a week, and my farce made a noise since the first time since the mid-90s. That might be true. And I know they said, don't make a fancy tape, but I can't help but get fancy. Hair done, nails did. Bug. That is a bug. Bug. Look at that clown. I was like, ooh, I'm doing something right. And all I had on was like, a little bit of bronzer and a lip. Oh! This is so bad! Oh my god. Me calling out someone with a big jaw is like making a pot and a kettle and like a frying pan all black. There's no room. None. Cool. You kind of look like an avatar. I cannot with this one. You're terrible. Me three years ago, you're terrible. This spring I got to do the NBC pilot for Wonder Woman. And this is a skirt I made for it. I did not make that shit that ugly as Sorry a lot. It's kind of awesome. Just kind of. I don't even sound like I believe my own lies at this point. That skirt is terrible. I didn't make it. It's terrible. It's two dollars. This thing in the back is a giant teddy bear, and I'm about to cut open his stomach and make myself Goldilocks coming out of his stomach all bloody. Oh yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm totally lying about this. They said, tell us about some costumes that you've made or going to make, and I said, I'm going to be Goldilocks coming out of a bear's stomach. <laughs> I wear D squared. Good luck. Whew, I'm gonna need some liquor for this if I have to tolerate this sh Chips. Uh. Ooh, chicken. Chicken nugget. That was like two days ago though. I remember when doing drag was kind of an escape for me because I would get to stay out late. Uh, away from someone that I kind of loved, but who wasn't really good for me. This is my vulnerable story. Detox, why should I be on Drag Race? Girl, you, honey, why shouldn't I be on Drag Race? Well, make a tape. Well, let me borrow your camera. I can't. I cut my hand earlier. My camera is filling with blood. Feathers, patterns, fun stuff. A little more Gucci. No, 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 you're lying. That is not Gucci. It's car upholstery from Gucci Man's back seat. You're a liar mouth. I'm here to tell the truth. I don't have a drag name because I like my name, Willem. It's pretty cool. And I couldn't exactly put Stefan the Cox or something like that on my SAG card. Shut up about the acting. You were a bit player. I don't f***ing Barry more. God damn it. I'm to the lowest long rung in the middle. I really enjoyed the transition where I didn't know any of the words of the RuPaul song and I just went <laughs> So to recap this video, lies, fables, booger, booger, boog, lies, fables, boog, apologize, boog. Thank you. Hey, I want to be famous. You're not gonna be famous. You ain't no honey boo boo. You're honey no no. I don't like her little baby side swoop bang. It looks like it should belong on the man who works in IT named Lester. It's like a butler in America Horror Story Coven. This is going to be extremely explicit. So if you don't like swearing, then turn your mother effing camera off. Explicit? You said effing. No. That's explicit. I just got back from Bath and Body Works. I'm so mad right now. I was shaking. You know it was your blood sugar. If you guys have been watching my videos, I have been searching high and low ever since they had the candle sale at Bath and Body Works. I have been searching for the winter candy apple and the iced gingerbread. Typical two food flavored candles. I have been calling my store in Appleton, Appleton, Wisconsin. I want everybody to know. No close to the camera stuff for you. You're a beauty that's best shot in the wide. I have been calling Green Bay, Appleton, Fond du Lac, 
and the outlet in Oshkosh. All four stores don't have them. That's not what makes me mad. Took me off a little bit, but I thought, eh, they'll eventually come in. No big whoop. So oh, I have to calm down because this gets really bad here. I look around. There's barely anybody in the freaking store. I stood right up and started shouting. They just cheated us. This isn't fair. About 15 minutes later, Miss Jen comes out and says, I am so, so sorry. I honestly thought that we had your candles at our off-site store. So let me get this right, Bath and Body Work employee, Jen. You wanted the big to wait to be serviced. You know, think I should have at the food court and then maybe back to the food court again with a shopping snack? Give her an apple scent and windy candle. But we only have the small four ounces in. She's like, um, what I can do, she said, is I can call around to the up. And I said, no. I said, I've been calling Fond du Lac, Oshkosh, Appleton, um, where else? Green Bay. I said, I've been calling all the stores. No one has them. And I'm like, I was just so relieved when you told me this morning that you had them. And I came all the way from Oshkosh to get them. And I'm like, what do you mean you don't have them? And she's like, we, we just don't have them. She's like, I'm sorry. It's my mistake. A shut-in homemade scrapbooker is not to be reckoned with. Forced to be reckoned with? So then I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, I guess I'll get my peach bellini candles back. Give me my peach bellini! Okay, I'm like, I don't want to be rude or anything. I said, but I think I deserve something. I'm like, if it's a free item or a gift certificate or something for what just happened here. There's a bigger problem. And I had a very pleasant face. How does this great pumpkin head think that that was a pleasant face? You know what Jen says to me? No! I said no close-ups! Making them air quotes, scare quotes! Ooh. You know what this goddamn Jen says to me? I can give you some coupons and put these in your bag. And I said, Jen, I have every single coupon that Bath & Body Works has. I just want Jen to say, maybe you have too many candles? There's an 800 number on the top of this receipt, and when you call, you'll get a live person, and you can explain to them what happened, and I'm sure they'll be able to help you with something. And I said, a live person? Who the f do you think I'm talking to now? He didn't get out of the Costa Duty car! I want to leave this store. Give me my candles now. Meaning, my peach bellinis. So she gave me my peach bellinis. And I was on my, my merry way. Oh, you giant golden russet of a woman. Listen here. She was totally nice. She's sorry. You have a problem. Find some good and focus on it. Like, um, check under your nails for food from lunch, maybe. Uh. Come on in, girl. In the water. Bitch, this water needs a Brita. I want a real filter before I get anywhere near it. Teeth are cream, eyes are yellow, make me get in that tub, make me go hell out. Oof, fuck. This video is not right, but I'm liking it a little and I feel dirty. I wanna taste you everywhere. Any way you want it, baby. But how? If you scream, I will holler. How are you gonna scream in the water? It's just gonna be bubbles. It's like screaming into someone's. That'd be rude to scream into someone's butthole. That'd be the worst rim job ever. Baby, I'm gonna eat you. And just scream into it. <laughs> Can you imagine how unromantic that would be if someone screamed into your ball? In the water, let me hear you scream. I like you. Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video because the other day I came across a similar video by someone um, with a channel on YouTube called Mad Is Rad. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that channel in the description box and be sure to check that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip him off and then I'll put his name down there, but mine will be better because I have subscribers. I see you for Halloween time because, you know, you might decide to be a couple of different things. What if you wanna be a horrible beauty guru? Color match your butthole. Instead of like wasting money on stuff like that, you can just make up. Yeah, go ahead. Don't waste money, but waste our time. Just let us see the fucking crayons. I just use two ingredients. There are people who put in multiple um, oils and things. They'll put in like beeswax and shea butter. Shea butter? Shea butter. Bitch, it's shea butter. 
God damn it, you dumb. You're awesome. I really hate her voice. We're gonna start off with a pink crayon. Great idea, pink crayon. So hard to find pink lipsticks. Oh. Melt the crayon with the hair dryer, smear it on your face. Again, I went for a sheer look, um, but of course you can go for an opaque look. How is it that you can say opaque, but you can't say shea butter? You can also go ahead and just like throw in all of the coconut oil at once, and all of the crayon pieces at once. No, I want you to waste my time step by step. Thanks. That looks horrible. It's like you got face blueberry patch. I'm sorry, who could stand the smell of crayons by their face like that though? I can't. Crayons just remind me of that kid in first grade who sh** himself. Came out of the bathroom with his pants all down his ankles. That was funny. How did he not know that was not okay? Our next video comes from Graveyard Girl and she has about 3 million subscribers. It's about secret extensions and do they really work? But at this point, anything's better than that whole like calico cat thing you got going on up there. Do you know what I have in this plain brown box? Please say talent. Please say talent. Please say talent. I peaked! You peaked about two years ago, actually. <laughs> I don't like you, and I'm allowed to not like you. Their celebrity spokesperson is Daisy Fuentes. At this point, you're more famous than Daisy Fuentes, so it's cool. Don't worry, girl. Editing your videos must be a challenge. Now, do you white balance your eyes or your teeth? Do you ever do this? No, but I have a question. Do you ever clean your room? I've seen Postal Center break rooms that are clean. Black is not a color offered. That's because no black girl would actually have the sense to buy hair off of the TV. They're like, just skip it. Those girls are too smart. That's a market we don't need to conquer. It really does not appear like you get that much hair in here. Roxy Andrews couldn't even make a bang piece out of that shit. These are obviously like way shorter than my natural hair. I mean, not way shorter, but. No, they're not. Most of the ladies demonstrating this, they have like a down the middle part in their hair. This is terrible. I feel like I should be doing something like volunteering or, I don't know, thinking about saving whales. Okay, I'm doing it wrong already. Don't break this drain! Wait, okay. I wanna know how to have a 14 minute video on one track of hair and a rubber band. God damn it. People get burnt faster than this video. Stuff happens. Holy Shetland Pony butthole, your hair looks terrible in the back. Oh, back of my hair, back of my hair. Get the out, she turned around. Next video. This first video is Hybrid by Galvalina. You better work. Shh, let's watch. Ooh, 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 copyright. Ooh, 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 copyright. Ooh, ooh, ooh. First off, I love anyone who is wearing imaginary high heels. Yes, fat boy! This video took more editing than the whole first season of Beatdown. He's talented, he's smart. This is already better than Britney, though. You wanna be taken down? Copyright. Maybe I can do that for my next video, just a big pink dot. That would eliminate like half the comments. Beard, Wonka, transgendered uh, Oompa Loompa. I've been loving what you guys have been writing, thank you. You know, you think you want a Lamborghini, but they stick shit, so. A lot of you would. Uh, the copyright. Uh, Still can't dance. Got a, got a severe case of the Caucasians. Yeah, I saw the show in Vegas. I actually saw Brittany Hall. I'll show you a picture of that. It's a hole in her tights. So, it's her Well, it's not like her hole, but it's, it's her hole. It's copyright. It's copyright. Better dub this. Why you mad? I think the next enterprising little babe just made a, a squirt gun of some sort. It's Babe Squirt Pillow, and she squirts a pillow. I don't know what it is. Let's watch. Ooh, please see other videos on side like Extreme Anal Squirting Gate, and I'm a freaky fat bitch. Maybe after. You ready? You ready? Yep. Yep. You want to see everything that I did? See you. Hold on. I'll show you. Wait. No, no. I mean, I'll show you on a pillow that I use. I got one tooth for chewing the Cheetos and one tooth for opening the bag. So, let me go show you. I don't know what I want to see right now, though. <laughs> this is the kind of individual that would run a toddler fight club at a daycare at her mama home. She's stupid and stupid. You see them stains on there? No, I don't want to see your stain. You have a plague on humanity. You see them stains on here? No! <laughs> 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 
No, no, that's nasty. You put a pillowcase and a duvet on that, because that's a duvet. Mm -mm. That's, oh, god damn it. See the stains? Yes! Ugh. I hope I don't sound judgmental, but... We see your stains! That's for me. No. And that's not pig, that's squirt. That's squirt. That's not pig, that's squirt. <laughs> She's real proud of herself. Yes, I am. That squirt, that's not pee. Ooh. There's an endorsement deal somewhere for you, squirt. It's easy. You just gotta be in the mood to do it. Gotta be in the mood to do it. She sounds kind of like Dolly Parton. She's got dulcet tones. From all that squirt. Hey, squirt. Let's just tell you that. Shark Week is every week at your house. This is what I do. I push. Until I squirt. That's how you do it, sis. Oh God, I've never, I don't, I've never had a job where I could be like, I'm going on break, or the printer needs toner. But I'm going on break. This is disgusting. Sad day in Wilson's Beat Town Land where I'm disgusting. Oh God, I've seen frat toilets that were classier than this. You can do it too, sis. Just squirt. It's a ball. <laughs> Being that ugly actually just hurt me. It's not like I pulled something in my neck. How do you do this every day? <laughs> Sounded like that fart brought along some company with it. A couple of friends. I don't need to hear your Katrina sob story. Just put your face on. So I hope you guys enjoy this smoky eye that is wearable. As opposed to a smoky eye but what are we going for here, bitch? This little teen trollop just put three things on her eyes that are the same color. She decided to use a Kesha song, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You've shown your Urban Decay palette three times. We know it's your Urban Decay naked palette. Well, look at you. Spent $42. Woo! No one cares. Put your mug on! Ooh, I'm confused. That's all the makeup that you put on for a smoky eye look? It's just a, that's a neutral. Them teenage hookers and lame miss had on more face than you. What's the problem? No, I definitely have a problem with this. I find that women wear nude lips in all the wrong kind of shades. When you want to wear a nude lip, I think a woman should color match her asshole to the lipstick shade because that is the nudest, most essential color that you could look and compliment your face with. Your butthole color. Color match your butthole. Bring a friend to CVS. It's not hard. I did it. Made a new friend. Hashtag color match your butthole. And send me the pictures. So I hope you guys enjoyed this wearable smoky eye look. As you can tell, it is a little bit darker than the usual everyday makeup that someone would wear, but it's also something you would be able to wear. You couldn't even catch a predator. There'll be no parties at Polanski's house for you, uh-uh. This is what a library looks like after 6 p.m. Oh, yes! That mug is painted! Oh, painted and hangry! Eat some you look like Lady Skeletor! That outfit is Lady Skelehor! That's a French cut? Goes real high! And half a life vest you stole from a JetBlue flight! Just made that your ass! But you know when your sister sees you in the audience, she's like, Oh, is you? Okay, come on, I'm gonna be able to be right over there! Spots, she's like, hold on, let me come over there and read you. Morgan tells the truth to me sometimes. You're boring and lazy. She's right. Uh, My wig ain't an ashtray. That's human. Don't ash on me. The funny thing is, I didn't know she did that till I watched this video. And um, I have never washed that wig, and this was a while ago. Been wearing it, sure have. That's what we call picking the cabbage. No words in the song, pick the cabbage. Instrumental, give them eyes. I've made better choices in homemade sex tapes than this video.
Do you ever feel like nothing is real? Yeah, I was on Drag Race. Well, that kind of comment get me in trouble. Oh, Gigi, gorgeous at the club with friends. Don't do that again. Okay, okay. I love that she just started the, the video yelling at the photographer that she probably called to tell I was coming. Kicking it up a level every going? time we see him. <laughs> Did you see her with her little troll headed friend with her ponytail? <laughs> I love whipping people with my hair on accident. <laughs> Gigi, where are we going? Where the f do you think we were going? We were behind the f up to smoke some weed. Now we're going back in. Duh! I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. First sign of being drunk is when you say, I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. Where are we going, Gigi? You know she just turned around and went from this to this. Are we going to back to Bootsy Bella's the back room? For those that don't know, the back room of Bootsy is where Miss Plessy wanna go. It's not a back room, it's the, the good VIP room. Gigi's you can go, but no him. No Miss Plessy. Hey, you stay out in the regular room, the people's room. Thank you. If we're not going <laughs> to the back room, I'm gonna be so pissed, Gigi. <laughs> I honestly feel really bad that I have to go. I honestly feel really bad for Gigi right now because we all have that friend where, you know, you don't really wanna be friends with them, but they make you look better <laughs> because they're terrible. And that's Mr. Plap to Gigi. So I understand. The kind of friend that like, is like, can I use your bathroom? And you just go, why? Like, oh, you gotta, no, you can't my house. I come up here trying to blow up, going to the club. You need to put on some more lip gloss, then you can use the restroom. But until then, the facilities are closed to your Thank you, goodbye. I love you, Gigi. This video comes from Lovable Viet, and she's teaching us how to make DIY Louboutin inspired shoes. It could be a really short video where she just says pink bottom red. Let's watch. Today I'm going to teach you how to make red bottom heels. I took that look more expensive than those pumps. You don't really need the metallic for this one, you'll only need the regular color one. So you'll need the color red mainly. Then why are you showing us all the metallic ones? Get to the chase, girl. Do. I got my real loops to wear. As long as it's not fully dried and as long as you haven't applied the clear um, acrylic to it, it's very much um, erasable on leather. Girl, those aren't leather, that's PVC. That's a piece of the sh. Couldn't even buy a good knockoff. And just popping red. Um, I'm just gonna go over it one more time and then leave it out to dry. You made one mistake, the little stopper on the end, that's where the red stops. I'll show you. Look, see, sorry girl. I'm really just like offended at this girl a little bit. Like I had to work hard for my little batons. I had to send a lot of men a lot of dirty pictures to get them. Take my little batons and put them all away. It's dropping down. My penny snippers are not free, you know? I had to compromise at least a third of my morals. Notice this trend of this plastic rubber bracelets and everyone is wearing these. He sounds like a heterosexual British boy trying to do a gay American accent. Now, I don't understand his accent. I want him to be quiet and just sit there. <laughs> Why must every generation have a stupid rubber thing? Like I had snap bracelets, some people had them other kind of wristbands, and now there's this kind of wristband. Oh no, not for the nacho cheese nail bed. That's orange. Take a swab. Mmm, I was down until I saw that. Don't wash your hands after lunch. But you have to pull it on top. I'm fine with it as long as you show me more of that pit, baby. Mmm, -hmm. pull it off. I wonder how old he is. Because I'm just dressed. Don't you speak to her now, Del Tom? Guys, I'm so proud of myself. Look what I made. There's a few mistakes in the middle of it, but we can ignore that. Yeah, I was into you, but now I definitely seem underage, so... Do you want to feel really good about yourself? Watch this video and just know that you're not him. I love breakfast food, so today I will be combining the best of both worlds by making waffles with the Pillsbury Cinnamon Grand Rolls. Ten to one, he's gonna eat some of the dough raw. Got that. I only get one shot of this. This almost looks like me when I'm naked. There's no skin tags on those biscuits. And now just grab your dough 
come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, perfect. And then take your icing and just lick it. Uh, Told you you would eat some of it raw. Taking it raw, eating it raw, whatever. It's good cream cheese frosting. No, it's not good cream cheese frosting. It's processed and probably clogging up your ass and your arteries as we speak. Mmm, that smells amazing. Ooh, we have extra. I have an idea. Step three, while this cooks, grab a small baking dish and lay- Fat people have the best ideas when it comes to food. Hey, <sighs> and girl. Did he just call his waffle girl? Because I think he did, he went, girl, I'm going to eat you. Oh my God. You'd be surprised because it feels tough with the knife, but it just melts in your mouth. Ah. This is the kind of individual whose holidays rate by the kind of food they have. Like, he really loves Easter because there's always ham, and Christmas is a liability because there may only be like turkey or turtle doves or something. You know, he needs that ham. There are a lot of questions surrounding chiropractic care. I just have one. Do I need to remove my blouse? Is it safe? Did her mouth just do the aww silent face? Are they real doctors? Put in your thumb and pull out a plum. Are they real doctors? You may have had a negative experience that left you hesitant to return to a chiropractor. Maybe you felt uncomfortable. Maybe I'm uncomfortable that all of your patients are women and you're asking that. That looked like you were about to pull her off the end of the, bit, the work table. And I like that. I'm committed to providing a comfortable atmosphere for my patients. This is the kind of doctor I would shave the back of my thighs for. I'll deal with some chafing for you for the next two days after. I don't mind. You are worth that. Crack my back. Hey guys, I'm here today to uh, shave one side of my hair off. First of all, this lighting is not your friend, and now I don't want to be your friend. What you're going to need? Some bobby pins. Bobby pins. There's no way. There you got your wisdom teeth out. Razor thing, if you want to get all complicated and whatnot. Seriously, with the wisdom teeth out, it's still up. So basically, I would start slow because you do not want to like take too much off and then better take less than too much, right? Ooh, that lurker in the back. Looking like Misha Barton in the sixth sense. You don't want to capitalize on the mask? I can't do it, I only did an end. Just cut the ponytail off. Your friend in the back, she's not having it. She's just like, yo, you've been talking about for an hour. Shave your head. Then let's do the geometry project. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not dead in my home. Hold on. I can't believe you got your wisdom teeth out still. Cause the ad is still up. We'll click when we're done. When you're good and ball headed. Then we'll watch your wisdom teeth get yanked out. So like it's it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's it. Katrina don't give a f I have a sheet off the rest of my head over there. What was more traumatic, your wisdom teeth, because you're still talking about it in this video, or your hair? Hi everyone, it's Sarah again. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to curl your hair with a straightening iron. Okay, so you're gonna get something to do the opposite of what you want it to do. Cool, just being, making sure, keep going. I use a cheap straightening iron. Okay, so this video is 11 minutes and like 50 something seconds. That's how long it could take you to run to the CVS and get an actual curling iron. Here's the steps to curling your hair with a straightening iron slash straightener. Step one, put down the fucking straightener. Step two, get a fucking curler iron. I'm gonna clamp down near the root here. Take this back part and go over. This video is like using a fridge to try to cook stofers. That looks pretty good. Oof. Right now you look like one of those American dolls come to life but as a teenager and possibly living in a group home. It's a little too perfect. Like you're gonna be somebody's little princess, aren't you? For a price. Work, mother. Yes. How you do all this in shoulder pads? Come on, pumps. I love it. In my head, this gentleman looks like a live action version of the man from the Cleveland show. With a butt plug. Come on, mama. Ain't been to a single dance class, but got on leg warmers. I live. Ooh, you know I love a homosexual individual who makes a one word syllable, three syllables. I live. She got that new Vigoro, honey. Body, body, bam. Vigoro's a relaxer. My head is going, but why these boots? It, see, I was just thinking that. I looked down, I saw all the hair, the good hand geometry and the hair, and then I went to, she got a flat? 
Come on, this gold cummerbund, giving us Michael. I'm not saying I had an uncle who used to wear cummerbunds to keep his drugs in it, but I had an uncle who used to wear a cummerbund to keep his drugs in it. <laughs> and his t-shirts! Oh, headband. Debbie Allen realness. She looks like Raven and Tudor the Booted. Courtney Love's first makeup tutorial. God bless her. It could come out like children's finger painting. I am by no means a makeup artist. By no means a hairstylist either by the looks of it. So I don't have my Revive with me because I'm in a hotel and I had to pack. But I love this doctor. Here's a list of other doctors Courtney Love may love. Because I'm like, yeah, obsessed with these makeup tutorials. Yeah, because she's never fixated on anything before. Planes and where her husband money went and then, um, you know, her daughter. Sorry about it. So I'm just going to add Bob where they are. There should be some disclaimers on YouTube, like, you should do this before you watch this. You should take a hit. You should probably get a snack. You're gonna wanna wait a minute till you watch this. Like, warnings like that. Before this video, I feel like it should've said, take a bomb. She's real down on the methadone. I hope she doesn't have to wait in the lines every day. Shit, uh. Bring this with diamond dust. I love diamond dust, but I think we're talking about two different kinds of ground powders. And the more you put in, the more it stays on, I think. Unless it's just all a delusion. That's just math. Exactly. Go, Courtney. People say, oh, you look so She's one of the people that when I say, oh, bless her heart, I don't mean you. I mean, bless her heart. How much you want to bet she doesn't know what her social is? The crackhead changed her outfit three times in a two-minute makeup video. Math, 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 sorry. Amphetamine. It sounds way classier than math. What'd you get arrested for? Math. What'd you get arrested for? Amphetamine abuse. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're ever having a bad day, you can just wake up and go, this is my Courtney. Our next video is a fan request. He was on the first episode of the Beatdown, Inset of Inset. And uh, I think his name is Jimmy Waffle Pass. That's what I call him. And since that glorious day, he has gained 40 new subs. Yes, come on, let's watch his latest effort. Willem Bella Slapabonimus. Because I love Willem so much. You have awful taste. I'll be making Willem Sloppy Bottomus. Don't you talk about my garden like that. My garden is beautiful and manicured. Just make sure you're all oiled up. Like Mykonos. You get real greasy. Woo! Woo! Yeah, look at Jiggle juggling. Got that pound for pound, 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 ground beef. While this cooks, I'm gonna add a secret ingredient that all drag queens love. Vodka. If you buy me vodka, I will not do the shot. I will do any liquor except vodka. In fact, if you buy me vodka, I will throw up and it will smell so bad like a crawled up my face and then ate egg salad and then breathed on you. My vomit smells horrible, so don't buy me vodka ever. Now, while this is cooking, I wanna grab a can opener. And I don't see a can opener. It's on the microwave, it's right there, I see it. As soon as you said that. Now you pour in your manwich. I don't eat things from cans. I love my body. It's a temple. And we don't have people picking up cans for five cents in the temple. Twirl that around. Spank your meat. Spank it. Spank. Mm. Mm. The vodka really adds a tangy twist to it. You can taste that along with my father's disappointment in me. You do not eat on camera. I'd rather take a than eat on camera, it lowers your street value. Eating on camera, you nibble. So far, he looks like a drunk baby trying to fend off mosquitoes. I'm about to make him dance, not. Nice. Yeah. I'm about to make the face that I have when some guy's chain hits me when he. Let me still be cute. Get your cross out of my face. Let me get a rubber, beat it. See, I like this video for a lot of reasons. A gay man objectifying another man the way that like straight men objectify women in videos. I fully support this. Trying to beat it out the frame and get you back pains cause I'm nasty at the Well this makes him look like he might be into fisting too. How many fingers is that? Oh. I see you over that twerking. That ass got my attention. Man, I'm cool with his and hers, but I'm about that his and his. Let me eat that boy. It tastes good like the manips. All right, girl, calm down. You still a homo. You hard and all, wow. But if you went inside, you'd still be somebody, bitch. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, this 
Got a cat. So, as the title says, I'm going to be doing an all drugstore holiday tutorial. Cats. Um, when it comes to holidays, this will be a Christmas look for me, but. Christmas look. Ooh, green eyeshadow. Nope! I think I've said this before in another video, but Revlon Color Stay. Not that you have so vast a body of work that's like, I think I said this in one of my last videos. And again, I'm using two concealers. Riveting. Nobody cares. The reason why is just, I have a little bit more blue, so I want to use something with a little bit more yellow correcting. I want to do this holiday look for Groundhog Day. So you can put your face in the ground. Shut up! I'm actually more interested on what's going to be under my fingernail than this video after picking in my ear. Okay, so for false lashes, I'm going to be using Ardell's Runway in Giselle. Yes, Giselle Black. My associate producer is watching this also, and she just looked at the screen and then looked at me and went, what the f***? So I'm not the only one who doesn't think this is, this just didn't need to be on the internet. Some stories don't need to be told. I could get my butthole in drag faster than this. Like, my butthole's the mouth and then I put some googly eyes on and tracks. I'm just gonna say it because it's funny. She looks like a female version of Olaf from Frozen. Do you wanna do some blow, man? <laughs> I remember this gig, this was in Brussels, at a place called the Twink Farm. My sister detoxed it quite well that night. Mm-hmm. She, she burped on some <laughs> Funny thing, we had never washed those sequin dresses. We probably wore them 50 or so times, only for like five minutes each, because we hated them and they made our armpits rash up. We had never washed them. <laughs> You know those wigs where you're like, that wasn't my wig, I forget who I borrowed that from. I think I kept it though. Ooh, here come my red-headed backup singers. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So good, <laughs> let's watch it back. Side note, Detox almost broke her finger because it stayed on the thing. It was like hooked along on the rail. She almost had to lose her arm for her shouting songbird daughter. <laughs> but she can't find her shoe now. She got a look too. It's not the kind where you it's just off and you know, oh, it's there. She was like, Ram a shoe! Because it's dark in the club. Oh, you can make love in the club, but you can't find a shoe in the club. She was on time though. She hit that bottom right at the See, this is why. We broke up because Vicky steamrolled detox down the stairs and broke her pump. Bitch, tippy tumble. Kept playing back. That must have been a glitch. We're sorry. Our next one is about to make it clap woodwind style. Yes! Paul Gross Lewis! Paul Gross Lewis! <laughs> what kind of erotic music man production is this? I don't remember the library going off. Make it rain on that whole orchestral style, y'all. This Jessie Styles bitch got 160,000 likes for her life tips. Let's see what kind of tips she got in her. I heard a lot of tips in me. When you really dislike someone, you should take a moment out of your day, just sit down and ask the Lord to give them explosive diarrhea. Agreed, yeah. Diarrhea is a surefire way to kill any day. Hello, hello. Hey, baby. Oh. Look whose parents didn't want to get her braces. You know when an ugly girl thinks the tattoos make her sexy and edgy? I got you something special I want you to wear for me tonight. What is it? Something to cover that face of yours. Close your eyes, close your eyes, and just hold out your hand. Oh, that don't look dry cleaned. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Oh, he's, he talked to the porn agency. Which one of the girls can act a little bit? Yeah, send her. Nah, I don't care if she, no. Her, oh. Nah, you can still send her, it's fine. She's like, I got a gig! I look like there's a hole right here. What am I supposed to do with this? You know what you're supposed to do with that. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, she got a house shoe on? I dance around for you, let me see, yeah. Okay. Ooh, she got a nice backyard though. I don't know if that's zoned for residential or business. No, it's zoned for business. <laughs> He's looking around. You know what he's looking for? The adult section, so he can get out of those kids' PJs. Look at him acting. It goes from like community theater in one second. Broadway! Right? They still going up. The chorus of the song is about to start, and they're still clapping from her entrance. Yes, Tandy! Yes! Passionate about Oh, she's gonna hit this one. I cannot tell you how upset I am that this got caught in copyright. Um, it's Bonnie Tyler holding out for a hero for the full dance. It's such a legendary performance. I'll leave a link in the description um, to the full video without any dubbing or editing. It's amazing. Tammy uses more pins than me too. I had to adjust that. Perfect pin for the gods. This is like watching the part in Dirty Dancing where she jumps onto his arms 18 times in a row. It's so good. Every move that Miss Tammy does is it. She's like 14 Latrices, 3 Chandelas, and a little bit of Sonique and Latrice combined. I love her! That's how she makes the apple sauce with them apples she plowed up. She shakes them down, burning down the orchard. Not picking the apples, not doing the apples. She said When she whips that hair, bends it to her waist, it goes down to the floor! Right back up, two pieces. She don't even go like this. She don't do the, oh, fuck my lipstick. She goes, come on, I'm gonna keep performing. This hair's gonna go back to where it belongs because it knows it knows to go back there. I'm Tandy Armani free. She only got to clap twice before the whole audience starts clapping with her. Yes, Tandy. And we are all still clapping. We watching, Tandy. Tell me through the wind. Tell me the rain. Tell me what it does. The chill and the storm and the flood. All of them, giving it to us. Good Captain PJs is back. She's got so much of my favorite color on. You know my favorite color. God damn it, fringe. How did that conversation go with her backup dancer? Just throw me and I'll land in a split. Yes, standing. But then you're gonna wanna come over and pick me up. It's like glorious watching her. I'm gonna flip and then I'll end up in a split. Bye, Tandy. Legend has it too that this broke her heel on the entrance and still did the whole number at full speed like that. Oh my god. I would trade 36 Tyra Sanchez as approximately for one Tandy Armani Dupree performance. God bless. I don't usually do voiceovers of my compilation videos, but I just thought it might be a nice opportunity for some drag history, because why not? Um, I'm sure you saw in the beatdown clip, but the performer was Tandy Iman Dupree, and they were actually the drag daughter of Tanisha Iman probably best recognised as appearing on season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race and having a massive fight with Candy Muse that turned into an online feud afterwards, which was pretty awkward. Um, but Tanisha is actually a drag legend, truly. They sort of talked about it on the programme, but it was more so in like the podcast promoting the seasons that they really sort of went into their history. I'm pretty surprised they didn't go further into it. Tanisha's been in the business 30 plus years and they're the founder of the House of Iman that still runs today. I mean, they really are something special in the drag scene. They're based in Atlanta now, but um, they've had approximately 80 to 90 drag children under their wing. Some just, you know, coming in for a little bit of advice or a little bit of help and others that they had a lot more to do with. Um, Tandy being a member that was quite heavily involved with her drag mother, Tanisha Iman. And um, yeah, I just wanted to include that because I thought that was interesting. Believe it or not, Tandy Iman Dupree actually lost that pageant from the beatdown clip. That was the Miss Gay Black America pageant in 2001. And they didn't win, um, which is 
absolutely shocking, <laughs> absolutely shocking. Um, unfortunately, Tandy is not lo- no longer with us. They died at Christmas 2005 from complications due to AIDS. Um, and they actually never won a Miss Gay Black America pageant title either, which is very sad. But no, I just thought that was a bit of interesting drag history to include. <laughs> How are you going to have a rave during the day? That's like a picnic at night. It's always sad when some doesn't want to admit that they're gay, so they're just a raver for a period of their life. Blowing a couple of those. You could tell which one has the sound system in the car that they're playing it out of, because otherwise he wouldn't be there. They'd be like, no, that punk? Uh uh. In the green, in the green furry Kermit leg warmers has been fixing that ponytail piece in his hair. It's fine. Hot Topic has another, don't worry. Put it on the ground, it fell. This is like a weird no contact version of Mortal Kombat, like the A button is broken. They can't actually hit each other, but they can still make the move. Oh, now the man in the green is concerned with his ring. Girl, calm down, it's a rave. You don't need all the accessories. To be honest though, their parents are probably just happy that they're out of the basement for once and all the guns are still in the cabinet. Yes, when big girls wear fishnets on their arms just to keep everything solid. A solid moving hunk is always better than blah, 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 blah. It's like a net of butter. You know the drugs you did were good when you play a Dance Dance Revolution and there's no Dance Dance Revolution game. You see and your score just go up. I might actually hit this party for a second if they have a keg. Making an imaginary cake in her head, or she imaginarily putting away dishes. She's like, pan down there, hot up there, spoon, fork, knife. Let's watch the Sponge Queen. Sponge Queen. You asked for it. A whole video devoted to the rainbow sponge. <laughs> gloves are incredible. Incredible. She just called gloves incredible. I'm like, no, they're useful. They're incredible. Oops, a virgin itch. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But she's so delighted by that virgin sponge. Ah, I did. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, I want you to look at all of those wiggles. <laughs> I love to wiggle. I'm going to show you wood. I'm going to show you wood too. Are they incredible or what? Of course you can go straight. No, not really. <gasps> okay. I want to actually put this to the soundtrack of some porn, like, oh, oh, look at that wiggle, oh. Is this fun or what? Okay, I'll give you that wiggle. That wiggle is a peacock feather, and that's kind of cool that you just wiggle that out like that. That's a little bit of art. Not art like these nails, but art. Now, think, and now we zigzag. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this was one night. Look at that time. Okay. And then, the, and then. My mom's gonna have a heart attack. So we need to stop this video. I'm gonna pick up some drawers off the floor and then just go see if they clean or dirty or not and get the wrong answer. Been there. Done that. I want someone to take a memo to the people who make them drugstore and M the most. The, the fleet one, it says douche on the outside. Maybe something more discreet. Like, uh, school supplies. What's in that box? School supplies for my butthole. The men that get up and cordially, semi-formally invited into my colon don't get no encounter. No, I'm a teen model. A pasture. Might see a cow running around in it. That's my butthole. It's peaceful. Peaceful butthole. Namaste. That was the most wrongly Michelle namaste ever. Namaste. Hello. Mera naam Joanna hai, also known as Shishi Joama G. Shishi Joama G in Hindi means shitty lighting. Today I want to tell you a little bit about why Western women are attracted to Indian men. Text support. Here is why Indian men are attracted. I want some Aladdin D. Don't you support it all in your affirmative action of a vagina? Starting with number one is the accent. Yes, the Indian accent is quite attractive. I'll tell you why. She'll tell you why. There is something so very poetic about the articulation on the syllables. Language is 
beautiful. It's She's right about the language thing. I mean, I know a little Spanish, some Icelandic. I'm trying to learn ASL. Like you said, thank you like that. But to say you're cute in ASL, you just go like this. Loud and clear. Even if you can't hear. Yeah, I don't know if you're a man or a lady. And coming from me, that's pretty tough. Because I had people in me who didn't know I was a guy until my beard scratched their balls. The Lincoln Tunnel is a dark place. And I loved it. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning and I look horrible. Why? You're in control. Grab that Anastasia brow and contour kit and beat some shit, girl. Take me to Beat Street. I shaved my face. Just don't shave off that cold sore. Cold sores are hard to shave around. Especially when you gotta put your leg on the top. On your face, too. Do not use a Gillette razor or any kind of regular razor that you would use to shave your legs, okay? Otherwise, it's going to grow back, uh, you know, like, like a man. Fuck you! You see all this hair right here? Shoot the Sasquatch! Now, some girls don't have it. Some girls got D. Okay, I want you to see. You probably can't. It's all over this thing. It's really nasty. This is the kind of weird bitch that looks at her dumps before she flushes. Just to see. You see that? Ooh. This is like operation. Don't touch the cold sore. Bzzz. I even grow hair on my nose. I know, it's crazy. You're an abomination. I hope y'all enjoyed this and shave your face, girl. That last part felt like she was talking to me. She's Glows out with the hot pepper challenge. Hello, this is Glows out. Is you okay? Is you good? Because I wanted to know. Okay, so I went to the store and I just want you to know that just like fruits, it, I mean, just like candy, um, you can have different types of fruits. I see Glows out just going to the store and then I got time to use the tongs. I got time for the foolish shit. I've got some blueberries. Okay, they're good. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Half a. <clears throat> oh man. I dropped my cherry. All right, uh, those cherries. Drop my cherries, ate it off the floor. God damn it, blows out. And um, I forgot what kind of cherry this is. Bitch, you know it's a pepper. You know that ain't a cherry. So you make sure that you try some sometimes. Oh yeah, this this might be, this was probably a pepper. <coughs> Pepper's a... <coughs> I've seen people OD peacefuler. You can chew that, mouth shut. Oh God, look at that. <laughs> God damn it. Bubba go Bubba go Bubba go Bubba go Bubba Why is it you always look like you're in some kind of weird porn film? If you screenshot it? I need some notes. Give it to me! Give it to- You don't drink water when you eat something hot. You drink semen or bread, milk, thumb, why? Oh, oh, no, I'm, I'm serious, I mean. You trying to get your sad card or something, girl? Calm down. It's a pepper. It, it's delicious, it's crunchy, it's juicy. People don't know the simple pleasures of a pepper. They're just biting the one. Oh, we're out. Ah. I have a really profound discovery that I need to share with you. Um, bottoming. Bottoming is scary, if not only for, like, the potential pain. How is bottoming scary when you have a tattoo on your sternum? That really hurts. But also for when it's, when he's pulling it out, you know, you're like... When he's pulling it out, you're like, more? We're worried about what might happen or come out with the penis. I know what you're talking about. Just clean your butthole, dude. I actually made a discovery. Um, you need to start using water-based lubricant so that particles that we might not want, that we definitely don't want, will actually stick to the condom. This is like inviting people over your house and like painting the dirt and the dog hair into the floor and the wall. You want to clean it out before you get people over there, you know? It's not about the lube. It's about your hygiene or lack there. Oh. This just, you know, one bottom to the world of bottoms, just giving you advice. I'm the face of this movement, you little. Kelly, back talking to Beyonce. On the second lead vocals to the girl. That's funny. <coughs> That's like 16 different kinds of side eyes. <coughs>
That's a good trick. Slip the cameraman 20. Hey, if I cough, put the camera on me. Hey guys. Um, I am going to be smoking Twix. I knew kids like Maddie in school. I bullied them. It's rice and warp sauce, and you tie it at the bottom, and you heat it up for however you want to. And it just works so good. Like, oh my gosh, it's so warm. And no one tuned in for your style choices, Junior. Just smoke a candy bar. This video should be shorter. It should be some fun size. That would actually be a good idea, like Twix flavor blunt paper. Whew, I would never leave the house. No, I would leave the house to go get... If I can suck weed out of it, then I would never leave the house. Did you see that? Yeah, you should have. Drier than a menopausal Pop Tart. That sofa looks dingy. No, that ain't a sofa. That's a couch. Ooh, your nana gonna be mad. You put your shoes on that couch. I'm back with the high heels, my. I'm back with the my high heels. Feel that good. Over outfit. This outfit is sickening. And if you wanna know, it's a trash bag, bitch. I actually wasn't wondering because it makes all the sounds that a trash bag makes and it looks ugly like a trash bag. That's how I knew it was a trash bag. Copyrighted Madonna song. Hey, hey, copyright. Who said you served them fish? The only thing you're serving me is a bowl of rotten eggs. Bring your ass back over here. Who said I was done with you? This is the hardest, most confusing macarena I've ever seen. I'm lost. Giving you that one, she called that to Angela Bassett. You wanna get caught? I'm that bitch that you want. Girl, put your thickness away. Don't show it to him yet. You have to wait till you're in the car to tell him you got a dick, not before. This is the kind of foolishness that that fat guy who made his Cinnabon waffle would never tolerate. Twerking in the kitchen with butthole particles flying everywhere. No! People eat there, ma'am! I like your hair change, girl. And what you walked into is my house. And I'm serving fish for dinner. Ooh. Wow, I hope you liked your personal fast pass to mediocrity. Our next video comes from Wow Presents, which is a brand new MCN, multi channel network. It's Alyssa's Secret, and they have already 100,000 subscribers. Let's watch. Wait. Play it. We, we couldn't get it. They said no? Yeah, they, they said no. Never mind. Hey, everybody. This is my second tutorial. I did a quick look on this easy eye. Armin got fat. Sorry I called you fat, Arsenio. See my inner conflict, though? I didn't want to because you're beautiful. So I didn't shave, unfortunately. No gigs tonight. <laughs> no nails, no pads, no nothing, just me. You're not wearing nails. nails. You're not doing what? I'm applying vibrant grape eyeshadow. You did not just call that grape. It's fucking purple. No one cares. We're dude. Gray. Focusing the product mainly near the crease. Next, I apply pure white eyeshadow by MAC Cosmetics. We get it. You, you went to a MAC. We don't care what the brand is, just put it on your face. I set that using the Pure White Pigment by MAC Cosmetics. How much you want to best use a MAC girl? A counter MAC girl, Bloomingdale's, not even a flagship store. Whenever I'm feeling low and it's a lonely, cold UK kind of town, I'm like, where's the mall? Is there a MAC? Okay, I'll just go back. Ego boost! Wonder how many know me in here. Yeah, what are you looking for today? Nothing. Somebody recognized me. Oh, 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 oh. That would be me if I could smoke weed out of it. You know he just wanted to be like, you always scream like a but he's in the gym, so he's being nice. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell you the position by the sound he is making. 
This one is clearly this half in, and he's just pulling it out a little bit. He's been fucking about 25 minutes now, and you're just like, huh? Huh? How long is he gonna do this? Are you close? Huh? 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 Uh huh? Uh -huh. No, I love it. Uh huh? Uh huh? That's this. That's clearly reverse cowgirl. Cause it's gotta be reversed. Cause if you were facing him, you'd make your face still cute. This is the face you make when you let everything go. <laughs> Sounds like you use an icy hot for lube. <laughs> That's one foot on the neck. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> did he just put his foot on my neck? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I kinda like it though. <laughs> <laughs> This would be the position that I call the gaper's delight, where he videotaping and he wants it to gape for a second. Pull dick all the way out. Ha! Ha! He don't care about you. He cares about getting his picture for his iCloud. It's like a fat to it later, like Black Mirror. Ha! <laughs> that menopausal gym mom is like, I want what she's having. Ha! Oh, you can tell that one's when it first goes in. Ha! Oh! Can I just keep it still? Just leave it still for a second. I said don't move. Already tried to f me. No, we're done. I said don't force it over. Never use hot water. It can burst capillaries. Pat your face dry. Never rub it. If you just add on balls to everything she says. Never use hot water. On balls. Pat your face dry. On balls. I think I'd like this video more. Put your perfume on before you start. That way you can enjoy it the whole time you're getting ready. Slather a lot of that slut juice on early. That way it can really seep in your skin and make it skanky. And you won't knock him over when he walks in the door. And think how nutty that dump will smell, so don't flush it. Later on he'll think, yeah, no anal tonight. Press the powder into your face. It'll stay a lot longer that way. Press the powder into your face. <laughs> I love the 80s. Coke was crazy. Rub it all over your face. And when you want to use it again, all you have to do is slice a little bit of the end off. And when you want to use it again, you take it from your bedside table and cut off the crusty bit. Yeah, that was just the right size, Donna Mills, right? You like an organic thing or two. Brown eyes can look pretty spectacular too, can't they? You condescending I mean, no one's ever said, yeah, give me those contacts in the brown. Mm -mm. It takes a little effort to look natural. It takes a little makeup too. I feel like she's talking to me and I don't know. I look natural. And you always feel better when you look better, right? I'm gonna use blue because I have blue eyes. I'm gonna use blue because I like looking like a prostitute. I don't want you to go over the lip line because that can look ridiculous. Ew. <laughs> Let's watch Miss Kitty do Latrice Royale makeup. She has about 400 views and that's about 400 too many on this. God damn it. Picking out a great beauty wish wool. It is Latrice. <laughs> Drunk Latrice makeup. Let's do it. I like this. She, she's smart. Alcohol actually dries out your skin, so it makes the paint stick better. It's an all drag queen trip. That's why we all drunk. Oh. They say Asian girls can't handle their liquor, but this really can't handle it. She can't get it in her mouth. Spilling all over your chin, you sloppy. Patrice would never let her drop slip. That's disgusting, but I'm going to drink it anyway. I felt the same thing about many things I put in my mouth, so I'm right there with solidarity. I bought the number uh, Y1 for highlighting. I love that this. Using OCC, I use the same colors. Well, I used those same colors and they were wrong for my face for a while. Apparently, I don't have Y. Y means yellow. Oh my god, so yellow matches the Asian people. That's not racist if it's true though, right? Hmm. I'm trying to speed do it as well because I don't have enough memory on my camera. Yeah, that's what I did too. That's why I did my makeup like that. I didn't have time. Oh, oh, oh I say, oh at least four or five times every time I do my makeup. So I'm right there with you. Again, solidarity. Like, I think the best case scenario would be if I pulled out Alaska, because that way nobody would be able to tell that I did this, like, drunk. Are you saying Miss Alaska's makeup is shoddy? My makeup is terrible! Let's do some eyebrows. Get your passports, because this is going south. That was an interesting technique. I see that she didn't draw the eyebrows. She just 
Move your head and get the pencil still. Which maybe it would work for me. I should try that. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? Those eyebrows are not twins. They're not even sisters. They might be second cousins. Ah! <sighs> get your I have the wheel on one. That's no, generalizing. This one's the wheel on one. She said my name! It's like we know each other. This is neat. I'm glad I didn't go in too hard on drunk sloppy whore. I'm just gonna do this so that um I'm waiting for the top to fall over because she's a little tipped at this point. And time. And I think. Girl, that is how you eat the bottom of a bag of Doritos, not put on rhinestones. You have to do them one at a time. Lazy Use your tiny little fingers. Uh, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that last part wasn't even intelligible. I really liked you. It's Farrah Abraham and her single, Blowin'! 1.6 million views. It sure do blows. You're blowing, you're blowing all the minds away. Just the minds, though. Get out of your Twitter avatar, you egomaniac! Who cares if you can verify? They'll verify anybody! Drag queens. So drag queens. All the what chart were you ever at the top of? The top of all the charts, where? Did you get a gold star in celebrity rehab? I'm blowing, I'm blowing all these boys away. Finally, you're truthful. You're blowing all these boys away. Thank you. We know. Let the hate stack up positivity. You're so terrible, the gays don't even like you. Like, you can't even be Tori Spelling famous. You know the really drunk girl who comes up to you in the club and sometimes dances with you, and you kind of dance back because if not, you think she might hurt you a little bit with her dancing somehow? Like, get on you, make you dance. This girl's not her, but I just thought of that other one, too. Artist? You're just an artist. She's an artist, everybody. An artist. Good luck. Yeah. What's up guys and welcome back to the least watched show on the internet. There was something sexy and human centipede about that whole face thing, I don't know. Just.tumblr.com Captain Destes feels like the kind of nickname that you give yourself when no one else will. Just read if you had to be in a human centipede with two other people of your choice, who would you choose and why? Can I have Jennifer Lawrence just like right here and then Justin Bieber right here? Yeah, I'd be the middle one. So yeah, Justin would just be getting the full force of my anus hole, just <laughs> Oh my god, Justin, I'm so sorry! It's not my fault that it's chilly night. I would just like to say that this guy uses the same source material that I do. He's talked about chili, ass to mouth, Human centipede. It's like we're the same brain. We should collaborate, but I am not going anywhere near your apartment. I know someone is getting a new ringtone. Ah, shake a finger gay style. This video is from King Joffrey. He's got thousands of subscribers, and it's just basically a compilation of all his vines yelling at Lady Gaga. Yes! It's like he just found out he didn't have summer school. Oh my god, yes! Yes, Gaga, you look so good. I like her. She's chasing through the pain. Because that doesn't breathe. It's a man made fiber. And I love, put your hands up, make them touch. touch. Yeah! He's like, yeah! Never mind. That, 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 that didn't go full. Yeah! Oh! Oh, oh yeah! Now twirl, twirl, now twirl, twirl. It's a bad example, jaywalking. Mm -hmm. Yes! 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 See, it's not the same, you have to really have to hold it, otherwise it doesn't have the gravitas. That's French for extra gayness. Yes! This is a lube sample pack, douche with a Fiji water bottle type of individual, and God bless them. I don't see much of a future for him, but it looks like he's having fun for now. This April lookbook is gonna slay with Joey Graseska! You know those times when that whole do what you want with my body song is playing in your head? That's not this time. Fluffy fucking allergens flying through the air. Booty bumps and Benadryl. Dude. 
technical styling aspect ratio is not that high here, so it's like a really weak brag. Like, look at my outfit from the mall. I had styled it myself. Ooh, a remix of this. I love this jam. We're sorry the sound was a little fucked up in past episodes. We sounded like Donald Duck masturbating at one point. <laughs> Bitch! The episode is over! You ruined everything! Far any and popcorn! <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe! Thank you, bye! I can catch anything with my popcorn, STDs, hockey pucks. <laughs>